this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Police say the background check system for retailers was shut down for five days to make improvements. The new software needed to come online. In the end, when it's fully built and constructed, this will be much easier for the dealers. It'll be a completely electronic experience for them in most cases. All representatives are currently assisting other callers. The new phone system will eventually turn into an online system, but it's what not up? This is this Channel Guns coming into another gun video. Appreciate you watching, like, share, subscribe. So I want to thank y'all for coming over here today. Appreciate the ones who found the channel. Subscribe. I thank you for that and everything. Hit the notification bell. Appreciate your support. Um, shout out to the new people in the 2A community people. I'm consistently keep saying that we need in the long run. Um, support your 2A challenge, your gun challenge. We need all the help we can right now. Um, we got a long drawn out fight and stuff, especially when it comes to social media and stuff like that. Um, another shout out to y'all uh, that smashed that like button, shared on your favorite social media platforms and stuff. I appreciate that. Um, another shout out to people in the comment section, you know, delivering all that you know, the energy and stuff, enthusiasm, helping out the new people, you know, letting everybody know what's going on. That is how we're going to win, people. We got to, you know, join together, work as one, can't be separated. That's how we we at our most weakest point when you there separate us and stuff like that. A lot of these distractions. And another shout out to y'all that come over here every single day through the good and the bad and ups and downs. Nothing is ever going to move in a straight line, people. So with that said, uh, we're going to talk about firearms and stuff right now. Um, you're probably seeing headlines, uh, you know, through the major cities, people, until my gun violence is through the roof all over the country and stuff. Um, you know, we've been talking about that. It's out of control. Your major cities are playing the blame game and stuff like that. And, you know, they're still trying to crack down on your gun regulations and stuff. Now, with that said, you're probably seeing, um, hearing information about, you know, firearm background checks. Are down and stuff like that. We can expect that. Until my, we are coming out of a pandemic. We are reopening. A lot of people had took their foot off the gas, backed off a little bit. So you know you're gonna see a kind of dip and stuff like that. Your headlines are still out there and everything. So you know right now, until my, we've been talking about during the pandemic, people how frustrated it was. People was you know background checks delays and stuff. Some states delaying you, you know, thirty days, you know, two weeks, three weeks. I'm talking about it was just crazy. I'm talking about, you know, the lines. I'm talking about you had gunshots during the pandemic, you know, doing background checks for you know, the next day, the ones they supposed to done the day before. I'm talking about it was just backlog like crazy. And so, you know, I've been talking about, you know, when you need something for emergency, you need to get something quickly. Some of the things, the roadblocks that can be in your way. So right now, some of your headlines are saying that you have some states. Now, states like Connecticut, for instance. Let's take Connecticut. They got the second background check system. Now, in Connecticut, they were shut down uh, for five days or so or something, something similar, a couple few days. Because for one, the state said, oh, we need to upgrade our background check system. Now, as far as the Knicks background check system, um, it ain't shut down. It's constantly still going. But see, these states, they put these second background check system in. These are delays, people. These are tactics that they're doing, um, system failure and all this kind of stuff. And it's delaying gun owners. Now, for five, three to four or five days, they are backlogged with background check system. And what I'm saying is, only thing they're updating their system is, how can we prolong? How can we delay people from purchasing farms? A lot of these cities and stuff that have the huge gun violence and stuff like that, they're not stressing that they got to shut the system down for four or five days to stop selling guns. That's part of pretty much their strategy, you ask me. And we've been talking about that. So in the headlines, you have retailers who are frustrated with the background check system because they're getting dragged all through the system and everything. And, you know, a lot of these retailers, I'm talking about, it's more like, you know, the, the, the Knicks background check system is working fine. But these states, your politicians, they come up with all these regulations and policies and stuff. They create this because they're saying, oh, well, the Knicks background check, the FBI background check system is not 100 percent, which you have a lot of states in such as my state are looking at, hey, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's working fine. It's, it's nothing wrong with it. But you have states like Connecticut who put the extra systems in place so they can look for, you know, local jury, you know, districts, you know, you know, judicians and, you know, not judicians, but local um, districts to find out even more about the person before they sell the firearm and stuff. So that is pretty much what they're doing. 
I'm talking about little small stuff that can keep you from getting the firearm. That's all they're updating the system for. I'm talking about it's not that the background check system is down. It's because that they want to add more laws, more regulations, more uh, things that can delay you, deny you a firearm. A lot of these cities and states and stuff I've been looking at, uh, firearm uh, background check denial is through the roof. A lot of people don't talk about that. I'm talking about a lot of people is getting denied firearms, people, because they keep updating their system and putting little stuff in and to get you denied. It could be any little thing. I'm talking about, you know, I've seen report parking ticket, uh, anything, you know, you uh, court. It could be some small stuff that cause you to, to, you know, fail your background check system. So a lot of people really don't look at that. It ain't that they, they coming up with some new way to make it better and stuff. They coming up ways to delay. And so Connecticut is one of them states I was looking at that's in the headlines because some of the, their computer stuff and everything that they tend to be updated. What are they updating? I haven't heard nothing. I've been reading. What are you updating on your system that, you know, that is better than the, the FBI NIC system? What are they updating? See, they're not saying what they're updating. What they're doing is putting more things in there, people, to get in your way and your firearms and stuff. And, you know, that is some of the stuff that I've been talking about, especially during the pandemic. A lot of people frustrated. Um, also, you have Illinois, you know, these cars and, and all this stuff that you got to do, registrate. I'm talking about all this stuff is to, to delay you. And some of these states are doing this because they want to delay you and they want to find more information on any little thing uh, that to get you a deny. And deny rates is up, people. I'm telling you right now, deny rates is up. So I uh, want to kind of point that out. Retailers are frustrated. I'm talking about if you go into your retail and stuff and they can't sell your firearm and this, they're losing sales. They're losing money and stuff. But, you know, the state and stuff, they're not worrying about that. I'm talking about because, you know, they feel like they're solving something because they're trying to keep guns from being sold, trying to lower the gun violence and stuff that they politicians and stuff created. And your politicians behind the updates in the system because they sit behind closed doors and they find out even little things to deny your firearm. Red flag laws is very serious in a lot of states, people. And they'll keep doubling down and stuff on them. So I kind of want to talk about that, put that on your radar and stuff for a lot of new people. But, you know, this is some of the stuff I've been talking about. States are putting barriers, putting new things in place to get between you and your firearm. to delay you, people. And right now, Connecticut is backlogged. And the retailers are frustrated and stuff, you know, when it comes to their sales and stuff like that. So kind of want to talk about that I'm talking about because that is still going on. I'm talking about we're opening up. Um, you know, we have this virus that seems to not go away. It's hanging around, looming around and stuff, people. And like I said before, get yourself prepared because headlines can change just like that. And you can be called on the other side, people. So um, this is DC Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.